Welcome back. I saw via Reddit that there is this free shogi dating simulator game. And I thought, let's check it out, shall we? See the authors, Pablo Baron. They published this game through itch.io, where you can obtain it for a donation. But let's play it here. I sat alone in the back of the classroom, staring out the window. Other students chatted and laughed, but I felt disconnected from it all. It wasn't that I didn't like people, but I just didn't feel like I felt fit in with anyone. And so, I mean, this is somewhat of a trope, right? This uh, notion of, hey, I don't fit in in the world, and how relatable am I? And, oh no, my grades are slipping, and I don't have a passion, I don't see a point to school or study. Um, so... I'm not going to overly bear on these points, which, again, are kind of part of the trope. Yeah, so... It's not as relatable in a Western culture, so I'm just not going to emphasize it too heavily, but we might see some of that sort of thing here. I do like the bell noise. The game does have in-game music, but I've got it muted just for reasons. Um, so I dragged myself out of the classroom. The hallways were crowded with students. I tried to keep my head down to avoid drawing attention to myself. I felt drained and exhausted, like I had no strength left. Obligatory window side protagonist. Yeah, so... I mean, some people are in such a situation. It's Depression's a complex topic. And so I'm not going to overly bear on it. But they established this character so that you have this opportunity to uh, see whatever comes up next. Felt like I was slogging through quicksand. The noise and the chaos in the hallway were overwhelming. And I barely had the strength to continue. You know, I, I just don't have any strength, but somehow I'm doing things anyway. And again, depression's complicated, and we're not going to bear on it but I found myself drawn to the source of all this noise. Despite having no strength, I pushed through all the students, and I just kept going, things kept getting louder and louder, and we get to see the most beautiful girl ever. Again, anime trope, but hey, we'll run with it. Uh, she's playing a game of shogi against several people at once. I couldn't take my eyes off her. The sunlight filtering in through the windows illuminated her white hair, which fell elegantly and naturally over her shoulders. Her skin was smooth and perfect, and her expression of concentration while playing while was so captivating that I was completely hypnotized. For a moment, I forgot about my detachment and felt a flicker of interest. Watching her move the pieces around the board with such grace and precision was like watching an artist work. I felt myself drawn into the game, even though I didn't even understand the rules. Never seen anyone... okay. We get it. We get it. But, um, I stood there unmoving, absorbed in the game. Apparently I know it's Shogi, although I don't understand what the game is, but it's fine. Um, there's this mysterious beauty before us, and we forget our troubles and forget our loneliness, and finally the game ends. She'd won. The club members that were playing against her in that game dispersed. Wait, were they all playing that singular game? Okay, whatever. That seems really capl- Yeah, anyway. Uh, I realized we were alone in the club room, but I still was unable to move, unable to react. So she approaches me, because, yep, we're the window side protagonist. You seem to have really enjoyed the game we were playing, but I've never seen you here before. She's quite observant, no? You played an amazing game. Oh, so you really like Shogi. And, yep, since we're the protagonist, we get to say things. Sure, yeah, I've been playing Shogi for years. I competed in all the major tournaments and won countless games. And so, yeah, she's smiling, and her face lights up, and her eyes are sparkling. That's quite impressive. Oh, thank you. I'm quite proud of myself. I'm not going to tell you, like, more about it, but I I'm proud of myself. And then I continue bragging somehow. Um, she's hanging on every word and entirely believing me. 
and definitely <laughs> not, you know, just giving me the benefit of the doubt just for amusement's sake. Wow, you're amazing. I can't wait to play against you and learn from you. Yeah, all right. Well, you know, I got to train for a tournament, so I'll see you next time. <laughs> all right. Yeah, what's your name? Ujita Taro. And your name? Uh, Kuroda Sakura. For the moment, we stopped at our tracks, uh, feeling a hint of embarrassment, but her enthusiasm quickly overpowered this feeling. You know, you should really consider joining the Shogi Club. We could use someone with your talent and experience. <laughs> yep, this is never going to backfire. Yeah, I think, at least in our culture, we'd indulge folks. I assume over there they would as well. Um, you know, I assume she knows more than she's letting on, but, you know, uh, it's pretty cool that she does uh, interest us. We, the weary protagonist, has no strength to do anything. Um, you know, it's really kind of her to do that. Oh yeah, but by the way, I, I don't know how to play what what's this game? Like Shogi? What what's that? Um yeah, for those of us who don't know the language, uh this is the game of generals. So yeah. This is the publisher, Small Kitten. And the title, Checkmate. My Shogi Club president can't be this cute. So here we get an uh, introduction of character list. Um, there's our sibling. Where's us? Maybe it doesn't matter. We see this looks like a library. And I guess a school staircase? I'm curious. I don't know. Maybe we're going to meet all these characters in turn somehow. I don't know where this is. Hmm. And this seems like somewhere around a public park or public building of some sort. And then the club itself. Uh, I guess this might be another member of the club. I don't know. Foreshadowing. And so yeah, we see the game offers multiple piece sets. I'm not familiar with Japanese, but perhaps you are and can understand what that means. And let's move on. I arrived home and threw myself on the sofa. Oh no, I was so depressed. How is she ever going to love me? I don't even know the game. Even worse. You know, the school year is moving, so we don't have a lot of time left in the school year to impress her. After 60 days, it's all going to end, and I never get to see her again. I don't know how I know that, but, like, I guess maybe I'm going to graduate, or, I don't know, something in 60 days. But sibling asks, you know, we seem sad. Yeah, no, nothing's wrong. Don't worry about it. Look, do you know how to play shogi? Ah, so it's about a girl, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's pretty amusing. Don't say such things. Oh, but why else would you be interested, Shogi? <laughs> Is this something that girls like us or like to be interested in? Are you joking? Of course they like Shogi. You'll never get married if you can't play it well. Yeah, is that true? How could that be true? Of course it's true. Listen, no woman with self-respect would marry a man who can't play shogi well. It's the game where they can show off their brain power to plan and execute life strategies. It's the game that sets apart the boys from the men. You know, not like Go or... Well, anyway, in Japan, shogi is wildly popular. So maybe it's a cultural thing. Um, do you know how to play it? Of course. Why don't you know how to play this? But okay, yeah, I'll teach you. So let's go through the tutorial, shall we? Let's see what this is like. All right, we're going to learn how to move the shogi pieces. Um, and so yeah, I've actually selected uh, the traditional piece set. 
Uh, this does show a Western piece set by default, but you know we're going to go through and actually learn the double kanji and uh, bear with it. So here's the pawn. Pawns move one step at a time. And of course, you can capture an enemy piece as you move. So this is a black pawn because it's facing up the board. We are seated as the black player here. So we get to move this up one square and demonstrate our skill. And here they introduce um, this piece that, uh, as the lancer. In English, we more commonly refer to it as a lance, but it's the uh, character that uses a lance. So lancer might be a more accurate translation. We could see these pieces go forward in a straight line. We could capture the enemy pawn. Now, knowing what we know about pawns, we could actually park this right in front of the pawn and it could capture our piece. But yeah, they call it a lancer. It's the lance, whatever. Um, we've got pieces that we call knights, but they don't move exactly like chess knights. They can jump over pieces in the middle of their move. So here's how a knight typically moves. Again, probably familiar from chess, but in chess we'd be able to move the knight all these other directions too. But this moves like more like you think like a horse in Zelda or something like that, where it moves forward but can't move directly there. So yeah, it can jump pieces in the middle. We've got silver generals, and so like the kanji on each piece uh, will identify that this is the silver general. After all, Shogi is the game of generals, so we can actually move the silver forward or backward diagonally. And then we have the gold general, which can move a lot of different spaces, but it cannot move backward diagonally. So we can actually retract that, and then here's the bishop. They move diagonally, so we can demonstrate this is a diagonal move. And then there's the rook, and we have the ability to move the rook vertically. So we just placed it in fire of the line of the pawn. Finally, here is the king. I forget the literal translation of it, but we see like the gold, silver, and king all have general indicated on the bottom. Um, so yeah. When opponent's in check or when you're in check, you have to get out of check. And checkmate is when they cannot get out of check. And that's the whole objective of the game, is to checkmate the opponent and not get checkmated yourself. Uh, capturing pieces. Uh, you get to move on top of the opposing piece and capture it and put it to your piece stand. In real life, you'd actually pick up the piece, put it on the stand, and then move your piece or something to that effect. It's a different thing than in um, Western chess, where the pieces are uh, easily enough moved and bulky enough or something to that effect, where in Western chess you would see you'd pick up your piece and use it to capture the opposing piece uh, in a nice single gesture. Here you do something more elegant, where you pick up the piece, capture it, and then make your move. Um, instead of what the more Western violent thing might be. But there are restrictions on p dropping pieces on the board. You know, I think we'll get to this in a little more detail in a second here. But yeah, you can't drop pieces where they have nowhere to move. Nor can pawns be dropped in the same column as one of your own pawns. Oh yeah, and you can't checkmate using a pawn drop, you know. I'm not sure if... It's difficult to figure out the best way to introduce these rules. Um, but yeah, every other piece except the pawn can checkmate as you drop it. So here we can drop the pawn anywhere except this red zone where it's the top rank of the board, or where opponent's piece is located, or our own piece... Or, yeah, here we have a pawn in this same column, so we can't drop in this column. But we could drop it on some different column. So, then we have promotions. And so, yeah, as you get into this zone, or if you actually leave this zone, 
or move within it. Any of those three circumstances you can promote. Typically it's optional, however, if you drop if a pawn reaches the top rank and it has nowhere else to move, obviously, then because pawns only move forward. So if you reach the top of the board, you have to promote it. If the knight reaches the top two ranks, it has to promote. And again, this is why you can't drop a pawn or a knight in the top row or rows, because then they would have nowhere to move. So when you promote into that zone, likewise, they have to, uh, it's not an optional promotion at that point. So pawns, lances, knights, and silver generals may promote to have the same movement as a gold general. Uh, I don't think the game covers the next little bit, which is, well, okay, what happens if you capture a promoted piece? Then the piece you captured goes back to your stand as an unpromoted piece. Uh, so it says become gold, but it obtains the movement of a gold general. It looks a lot like a gold general. However, upon being captured, it's no longer promoted. Um, yeah, gold generals obviously can't promote to a gold general. It's already promoted or something to that effect. And the king itself uh, cannot promote. So yeah, we can move the knight. And since we moved it into the promotion zone, it does promote. And the bishop, we see, normally moves diagonally. But if you promoted the bishop, it can move like a king. If you promoted the rook, it can move um, like a king. So we can move the rook. And soon we will have a girlfriend. So it says. Um, yeah, I... I guess that's mostly right. There are no other rules to learn except about repetition or sinichita when the same position's repeated four times. So if it if you've achieved the same position four times and not as the result of constantly one player checking the other, then it's a draw. However, if you have one player checking the other repeatedly. Unlike Western chess, that's not a draw. If you have one player is checking and checking and checking, but not checkmating, and you get the same position four times, that's a loss for the attacker. So, yeah, here you could choose between the Western style or Japanese piece sets. Um, yeah, so this is in some environments encouraged, in others not as encouraged. Uh, play with whatever feels most comfortable, and since we're learning, and since we're playing this, we'll take on the challenge of using the double kanji set, and hopefully not blunder too badly. Alright, let's play a little, shall we? So here uh, our sibling says, hey, you could checkmate me very fast in this situation. There's at least two ways in two moves, which... Again, this maybe appeals to a Western audience where you have this notion of checkmate not entailing check every move of the sequence. Traditionally, checkmate puzzles for shogi would involve a check and a check and a check and so forth until it's checkmate. Uh, however, yeah, the question is can we win the game? And to win the game, we would like to use this rook to attack this king. However, um, this uh, general over here is protecting the square on the top rank, so we first need to remove this. Uh, sorry, I've got a chat window on top of things here. And then, having removed the defender, we can now promote the rook, and this counts as checkmate. However, if the opponent actually had pieces to block with, which they don't, we can see the hand is empty, but they could block and run and that sort of thing. But here, um, there's nowhere to go, nothing to block with, so haven't we learned a ton? Thanks for teaching us the basics of the game. And we can see a hint of pride in her eyes. And so we curled up on the couch with a children's book on shogi and immersed ourselves in the world of the game, determined to become a master. I guess we don't have homework. I don't know. Maybe it's really early in this section of the school year. Or maybe we just uh, don't have grades, or I don't know. 
But here we're all excited about the Shogi Club, and so we're still a beginner. Still feel a little bit out of place going to the club. So what are we gonna do? Um, I guess we're still gonna go to the club, aren't we? We've been daydreaming of this moment the entire morning, imagining everything we want to tell Sakura. Uh, no, I've forgotten her name, haven't I? Um, well, that's embarrassing. What if we say the wrong thing? Alright. Did I really say I was going to play a tournament at the Budokan? Are there even shogi tournaments there? Wait, I didn't mention that. Lucky me. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand the reference, but sure. Alright, so we're gonna go meet... Oh, but instead, I guess we divert to the library. And, you know... There's a scent of old books and polished wood, as you would have with the library. Silence and the sound of pages turning create an atmosphere of reverence that is already somewhat intimidating. We try to walk away. Um, but no, we're trying to find books about shogi. It's not something rude or wrong, it's just we're curious. That's what the library is here for. Um, so we proceeded slowly and calmly, not making a big fuss. But yeah, we actually apparently have never been to a library before. That's kind of curious, but we're looking all over the place and, you know, we just can't find what we're looking for. Oh, yeah, that is right. That was her name. I was almost able to hear her sweet voice. Look forward to playing against you soon. Hopefully I have a rival on my level. Uh-huh. Did she say that? I think she did, actually. But uh, I guess that's words of encouragement. Regardless, uh, we get to see this person who's uh, speaking to us. And so for a moment, we were taken aback by her sudden appearance. But um, we realized this is Junko, the librarian. I guess... Maybe we knew that by virtue of having a common class at some point, but I don't know how we'd know that otherwise. And so we tried to play down that we're startled, but we are actually... I mean, she's the librarian. This is the library. But yeah, it's kind of on us that we're startled. We seem to be thinking about something quite important. Um, I don't know, maybe. Could you help me find something here? <laughs> Oh no, we're so embarrassed to talk to the librarian, but like this is what they're there for, so... Um, there's no reason for me to assume that the librarian knew Sakura, so yeah, let's just set aside our paranoia until, you know, much later in the story. But yeah, let's look for some beginner books on Shogi. You know... Um, <laughs> Alright, you're interested in Shogi. Let me guess, there is a girl involved? Hmm, somehow everyone in this universe knows us. Uh, but sure, okay. She's kind and understanding and actually doing her job, but yeah, she's pulling books off the shelves. You know, here's some good beginner books. There's a large one. I don't think beginner books are that large, but sure, okay. You know, yeah, I'd like to see these. I'm actually, well, I guess there's so many books in Japan that you wouldn't know which ones um, to put into a Western translation. But, all right, here's some training exercises. All right, thanks for all the homework. Um, so we get to go home with this mountain of books. But it's a small price to pay for the valuable knowledge lying within the pages. I guess maybe this is a pre-internet era, but, you know, it's fine. Alright, so, uh, we're on day two. On the bottom left, we can see our current day and strength as a shogi player. You know, even though we made it through the tutorial, our strength is zero, I guess. I don't know why, but that's cool. To fight your opponents, you'll use this screen to choose um, what to do in our free time. Move to a location, but there's a 60-day limit. Oh no. 
All right, so we went to the library. Let's see, we have a choice between the library or, I guess, training at home with our sibling. We could pass. I'm mildly curious what happens if you pass the time away, but we're not going to do that. At least not this time. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's go home. So we choose to stay home, actually, instead of going out. Yeah, I realize I'm no good at Shogi, and to become better. Um, it's all because of this girl. Okay. Oh, that is nice that the sibling does ask for the name of the girl. It's Sakura. Oh, that's a cute name. Do you think she'll dislike you if you're not good at Shogi? Apparently our sibling doesn't go to the same school, because they don't know her, but... Um, we'll just make a fool of ourselves in front of her, so... Or we did make a fool of herself and pretended to be a shogi expert. Oh, you did what? <laughs> you know, we're, we're an expert in the making. We're going to learn the whole game and everything about it and super impress her in 60 days. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, she's the president of the shogi club. And we didn't mention the whole scene of like she's playing against many people at once there. But OK. Don't worry, um, we can play together, and I can give you a handicap if it makes you more comfortable. And this is not uncommon, actually. Um, but the whole bargain of, okay, but I need help with my homework. Fine. So, yeah, here is a less traditional, but perhaps easier or more, I don't know, something about this seems less intimidating to me, this handicap here. Uh... Incredibly, my chat window is always going to be on top of the board because this game takes... Anyway, um, so we see they have a silver general, a gold general, a gold general, and a silver general, and three pawns. So, um, to me, this like looks like an easier-to-approach handicap than those I've seen elsewhere. Um, so, let's take this bishop and promote it over here. Sure, let's promote it. And it's possible the opponent might not be playing the strongest defensive moves, and that's fine. This is a good learning experience. It's not about making us look dumb or anything like that, but maybe this isn't quite as instructive as playing um, against something at full strength. Maybe this is not an ideal perfect learning experience i don't know it is fun though and like it's important to have fun when playing a game um right so this gold general is protected by the silver general and it is attacking two of our promoted bishops um let's go promote our remaining piece and so, oh, actually, I should have taken two pieces for a bishop, but let's see. Again, it's a difficult position for the opponent to play. Um, and there's, I'm just being careful that wherever they can drop a bishop, it's not going to pick off one of my pieces. Um, here, the <laughs> AI is generous enough to accidentally forget to defend this which was defended until the gold general moved away. And then this is checkmate. So you got a rook and a rook, but they're promoted and they cover everything around. So yay, we did it. Wow, we really won. But now it's the homework time. <sighs> I initially thought it'd be a breeze since she's just a little kid, but you know, her homework, uh, uh, square roots. I don't know. Do people do square roots by hand? Maybe this is a Japanese thing. But, yeah, we had to remember, figure out how to do this. Um, I mean, I know I've done the calculus to determine things with delta and epsilon and such. Uh, when we're taking derivatives and such and figuring out approximations of values. But, you know... 
somehow, <laughs> yet we're still working on your homework. Oh, okay, I'll come back later. Now, this could have been a moment to get, like, more bonding with the sibling if they helped us help them with the homework, but, you know, I guess it's not the focal point of the adventure. Uh, thanks, I knew you could. <laughs> Apparently we did her homework for her. I guess that qualifies as helping. Ah, history lecture. What kind of history? But anyway, there's Sakura, who greeted me with a smile. I attempted to maintain a composed demeanor, but deep down, I was freaking out, man. Hey, Taro. Oh, she remembered my first name. Wow, she really knows me, doesn't she? Hi! Uh, just completely caught out of our wits and don't know how to address her. How's your training going? Well, it's a bit challenging since my teacher has high expectations, but I think I'm making good progress. It happens to me too sometimes. However, I think the best thing to do is not to give up, even when everything seems to be against you. Yeah, there's times when, you know, I've reached a limit. Yeah, I get that feeling, but, you know, if you persevere, there's always a way to overcome it. Oh, that's quite encouraging. You know, um, of course. Well, you'll be at your best when we finally face each other, right? Uh, sure, yeah. Totally. Alright, do your best. Mm -hmm. She disappears back into the crowd. Ah, I guess being honest somehow wasn't... Oh, anyway. Let's go back to the library. I would expect that coming clean might also be a character virtue, but, you know, whatever works for the story. The librarian was busy at her desk, typing away at the computer. I capture her attention. Excuse me, you mentioned you could give me some training exercises to improve my skills. Dude, I just gave you that big stack of books the other day. Whatever happened to those? Oh, yeah. Training exercise, sure. Okay. Small stack of papers and a magnetic shogi board. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, that could be. Yeah. I hadn't realized that, but that very well could be. So this is called Atsume. The idea is you're in a really tough situation. But if you play well, you could win. However... If not every move is check, uh, because you're in a tough situation, you get checkmated first. If you win, the next day you come, we'll play a different one. Is that fine? Oh, and what if we fail? You know, just come another day, we'll, we'll get it until we get it. Now, uh, okay, checkmate in one. Let's take a look. Remember, every move must be checkmate. In order for this is more traditional style a puzzle um now note on this piece stand i think this does actually have mm, i'm not sure if it's the full complement of everything some of the arabic numerals like this is different than you would see things on a website like 81 dojo where they show literally every single piece that has been captured or is not on the board is on the piece stand here there's Arabic numerals, which is less typical, but I guess in some modern websites you'll see it that way. Um, I'm sorry, I've seen some puzzle books or things like where they have this set up this way too. Anyways, there's our king. There's our silver general. Pawn, pawn, silver general. Pawn, pawn, rook, lancer, or lance. So every move's got to be check, and we can checkmate in one move. Note, so this king cannot advance because there are silver general covering this square. Our pawns cover this square. Um, hmm, I'm actually not in love with the coordinate notation around the board. That's a subject for another lecture that many people have given. I don't need to give the same lecture. But... Um, yeah, here we can move this pawn to this square, so this pawn attacks the general, and it also attacks the square, so the king cannot run away this way. The silver controls the head of the king. These pawns block these escape squares, uh, 
and this pawn attacks the square and this rook supports this pawn which is doing this attack so this king has nowhere to go so that's checkmate Oops, sorry congratulations so she junko is quite excited and so we're one step closer to Sakura. Day four. The history lesson was as boring as ever. Mr. Takahashi was a gray man who spoke mechanically and made his lessons partic- You know, it's not kind to speak such a way. It, you try to... I mean, speaking mechanically, okay. But this is more subjective that like you feel this way and maybe you feel this way with the protagonist but you'd not say things like this aloud but it's free time so we remove the wrapper from the on pond i think this is some sort of bread snack thing uh got ready to eat however was it? we're about to take a first bite spotted a girl sitting alone at her desk intently focused on a shogi book I don't think this happens all the time, but, you know, that's kind of cute. Hi, Akane, is that a shogi book? Do you play? Uh, yeah. She's a little taken aback by my sudden appearance. I'm not very good, though. So, she must be kind of shy. I've rarely seen her talking with anyone else. You know, I'm not either, but I love the game. Would you like to play? Uh, after a moment's hesitation, she agreed. Sure, this could be fun. Great, but I wouldn't want people to think anything weird about us. You know, a boy and a girl playing shogi. Hmm, I guess I understand. I like to be alone. <laughs> I'm often around the locked entrance to the school roof. We could play there if you like. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, I guess, in any instance, we're glad we have someone to practice with. Okay, day four. Now, okay, I'll move my chat window to the bottom of my screen. Maybe it won't. Well, that's where all the dialogue appears. But so we have the library or home. Uh, I was curious, though, if, like, oh, I'm sorry, there's the stairs. I didn't see this last time we were trying this. Following Akane's instructions, I made my way up the western staircase. <laughs> um, yeah, no, western is the correct word there. I just tripped up on it, but yeah. Um, until I reached the landing at the very top. Uh, there's a door leading to the roof that's always locked tight. And so as we're approaching her place, uh, we're so nervous, and we do want to play. But would she be put off if we showed up unannounced? When she came into view, sitting all alone with a book on her lap, she looked up at me and smiled, but I could see a hint of hesitation. Hi, Akane. Mind if I join you for lunch? Lunch on the stairs? I guess that's a thing. Or I guess it's a lunch period, is what it's referring to. I usually eat my myself here. Uh, I understand, but I was hoping we could play shogi together. I could see a hesitation melting away. Actually, she likes us now. Wait, I mean, okay, I got my board here. Sure. Yep, and I brought some snacks to share. Mm-hmm. Why do you like Shogi? Oh, was it because I liked Sakura? Uh, I guess I like to strive to better myself, to push myself toward my limits. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you know... I felt stupid and a liar, but maybe I'm going to grow into it. Uh, why do you like it? Hmm. Hmm. And Shogi, a small mistake, can lead to a devastating loss. You know, that's a curious reason to like a game, but... The game mirrors the unforgiving nature of life, where a misstep can ruin everything we've worked for. However, um, in Shogi, there's no chance, no whims of fate... Uh, no randomness. When we fail, it's due to our own failings or incompetence. I don't like the word incompetence there, but you know, sure. Limitations or failings or something of that sort might fit better, but 
An all-encompassing shadow seemed to fall across my life, blotting out every glimmer of light and hope. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess that's why you like it, and I guess that's true. I guess we're also beginners to the game, but let's try a game anyway. Can I have a little handicap? Sure, you look a little overwhelmed. Alright, so we have... Um, this is a Rook Odd Handicap. I've not played a ton of handicap games, um, but, you know, let's give this a try. So the idea is we want to use all of our pieces. Our Rook is a very aggressive piece. It doesn't hurt to use the Rook, but we do want to for remember to use other pieces, too. Uh, the opponent offers us this pawn for free, so we'll take it and promote the Rook at the same time. Um, but, you know, unlike chess, where you just go on this capturing spree, taking everything, um, in Shogi, you still have to exercise skill to win the game, right? Um, so, what's a good way? Okay, I'd like to use this pawn, but if I place it here, it does limit the options of where my rook can go. But this is the best place for the pawn. So let's use this and use the rook. I would like to check the king, but this just encourages the generals to attack the rook and it has to move again. So let's make way for our pawn to invade and promote. Uh, we see this bishop is attacking this pawn, which thankfully is defended by the knight. Um, but since this bishop's in the center of the board, we can attack it again. And we can um, make room for other pieces to promote and continue attacking. I don't know if it's better to drop it here to attack the knight directly, or behind this... Well, uh, this can't be too bad. This knight attacks our dragon, or promoted rook, so let's actually remove the knight. And so now we've got a knight in hand. Um, but we'll make room for more pawns to join the board. We have the Silver General. So it's not... Unlike chess, it's... It takes time to win a game. Um, I don't... So we do want to use all the pieces. The Bishop is one of the pieces we want to use. Uh, probably should have taken the Lance a second ago there. But it's fine. We'll still win this. Um, we say confidently because we just have many, many pieces and the opponent has no attack here. Um, okay, the opponent is attacking our center pawn. If they take there, they'll promote and it'll be a big problem. Um, how do we continue... <sighs> Defending just for the de sake of defense is not super great thing to do. Oh wait, we can we can defend this while attacking. So we're attacking the knight, and so it sacrifices itself. We take it. Okay, and then we get to take this. Wait, 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 wait. How do we cancel? Uh, so, okay, that's a silver general on my bottom rank there. Uh, again, I got my chat window on top of stuff, but, um, hmm. I don't want to make a weakness right around my knight here. Oh, I guess, yeah, we can take it this way. And so the opponent has built this really strong thing around their king. I guess we could call a castle. It's not one of the traditional castles, but that doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so this we see this silver general used to be defended by this gold general, which has moved here. Uh, we didn't we no longer have a pawn on our center file, so we can attack straight down the middle and then take this hanging piece. Um, the opponent's trying to conjure an attack with their bishop and pawn. Let's see. How do we continue attacking? 
I want to find something elegant. Uh, but is war an elegant thing? Not by its own nature. Hmm. If we were to take this pawn, their silver would move forward and our attack dies. Unless I'm missing something. No. There's got to be a different way forward. Um... So we took a silver. We would like to place it there, but that's not checkmate because this gold general is controlling the square. I guess, like, it, it feels... Oh, we got two knights in hand. I didn't want to use the only knight on such a weird thing, but... Okay, and the opponent makes way for us to checkmate. Hooray. Akane grinned faintly, noticeably displeased. <laughs> oh... But you gave us a handicap. You played well, we say. I guess. Well, next time we won't give you any handicap, then. All right. Finally, another tedious day at school ends, and we chat casually. She's somewhat more comfortable with me. You know, one thing I like to see you apply to lessons that it teaches you to real life. Which lessons would that be? For instance, in both shogi and life, the best move may require us to make difficult sacrifices. You know, the word difficult there, but sure, I don't really follow how, what makes a sacrifice difficult. But how is that helpful? Yeah, sometimes we need to do that, something we hold dear, to achieve what we truly desire. But often it's the case that it can feel pointless in the end, uh, aren't you the bundle of optimism and sunshine? Hmm. Seems we could both learn something. Um, so, yeah, I guess let's rotate again. I choose to stay home. I'm not happy with your recent victory. Interesting. What? What might this mean? So, now you want to play? I happen to have some math exercises. <laughs> Remember, you're the one who wanted to impress a girl and made up, ended up making a mess by pretending to be an expert. Yeah, if we'd just been honest with the girl in the first place, who knows how it might have gone? <laughs> Anything but square roots. Alright. So, once we manage to beat her in Shogi, we'll be so skilled at square roots we can compete in the Math Olympics. This is our younger sibling, so that's cool. I can imagine the final fight of the main tournament. You'll be so nervous because it'll take place... <laughs> Again, I don't know what this location is, but sure. There'll be a group of idols performing songs for the audience. I don't think they call it a fight. No, no, no. When they ask about my brother, I'll proudly say he became a grandmaster of Square Roots, all because of love. Mm-hmm. How embarrassing. It's a perfect plan. No flaws. All right. So let's play. Square roots aren't going to solve themselves here. Oh. Oh, she's referring to our recent victory against her. So we have a lesser handicap at this point. Last time we had an absolutely enormous handicap, which is just ridiculous. Um. Yeah, let's promote over here. So this gold general is defending the pawn. Dang. All right, so I guess, um, I guess we'll just go way up here. Uh, you do know this is a fork, right? Okay. I guess the game is being a bit generous here. Yeah, this game might be a bit friendly. Okay, victory. Woo, we did it. I see the threat of square roots has paid off. You finally outdone yourself. All right, the nightmare has ended. Let's go out into the world, fight and conquer. Capture that woman so she will bear children into this family. It's a little early for that, no? It's never too soon. Can you hear it? Listen. Make an effort. It's a faint crackling, like an orange rotting. 
It's the sound of becoming old. You're becoming an old man. Now get out there. <laughs> okay. All right. Day eight. This final bell rang. I let out a sigh of relief and went to pack my things. Are there other life lessons you've learned from playing shogi? You know, we're taught that anticipating our opponent's moves is critical for success. But sometimes it's the moves of those nearest and dearest to us that catch us off guard and leave us vulnerable. You know, that's actually poetic. And it seems maybe to apply to the board game as well. Why do you want to anticipate the movements of those dearest to you? Well, uh, even those we love and trust can betray us. And <laughs> you're so optimistic. Mm hmm. All right. Um, yeah, let's go to the library again. We look for Jimco. She's busy at her desk. So, yeah, let's try some checkmate puzzles. Let's do it. Here's another checkmate puzzle. Last time we had a puzzle mate in one. Uh, this time they have a promoted pawn protecting the king. They have a lance protecting the king's head. And an assortment of other pieces on this side. We have one knight in hand. And so the best square to drop this knight on is here, where it attacks their king directly. So... Yeah, we've got a promoted pawn, a gold general, and our own king, but um, which is this? I think... What is this? This is a promoted bishop, if I understand correctly. Um, I get the promoted rook and promoted bishop confused sometimes. I have to remember like which piece came from where. Maybe I'll get better at recognizing the pieces over time. All right. So, taking another step closer to Sakura. And we haven't seen in about a week, actually. Another history lecture. Are there other things that we learn at this school? But we grab a book and feign deep involvement. We're such a seasoned player with our beginner book. Uh-huh. Are you studying Shogi? Oh, hey, Sakura. Yeah, just going through some strategies, you know, trying to improve my game. She looked at the book. Taro, I think your book's upside down. You know, there's a hidden meaning in these books. But sure. Uh, yeah, I was trying to look from the other player's perspective. Oh, how silly. No, I'm just quirky at times. Uh, so we're having a good time. I guess, yeah. I did mention that we hadn't seen her, and so she did show up. Hey, let's play a game at the club. Sure, yeah, that sounds great. I, uh... We had hiccups? Okay, we're pretending to have hiccups. I'm having a hiccup attack! Oh no! Let's go to the infirmary. Alright. We'll play some other time. Um... That's fine. Wait, I guess infirmary is not a location we can visit directly. So let's go to the stairs. And then we go to Akana's place here. Hey, I'm ready to defeat you once more. Alright, no handicap this time. Will this be the rival who humiliates me? Oh, dear, that's terrible. Don't say such a thing. That's a horrible joke. It's not a joke. You know. Maybe somewhere else that's construed as a joke, but it's that's not funny. Um, so we don't have to move the Rook Pawn. We can actually move this Pawn first. And we can bring our Rook over and play a more traditional style of game. So we move up this to try to attack their Rook. Um, I guess they haven't moved their King to safety yet. Or they're trying to build a, safe, a shelter in the center of the board. Um... But yeah, we've got multiple pieces attacking, so the most dynamic way to play this would be to take this pawn and pray that all the tactics work out. I'm not sure we're ready for that just yet here. Let's just protect the king a little bit. They protect their pawn. 
Um, so, yeah, I'm curious when the game will cover concepts like castles. Or maybe that's a bit too advanced for this kind of audience. But yeah, here we built this nice, extremely strong castle. Uh, the opponent does attempt to attack our pieces, but we can actually improve the placement of our piece. Yeah, when you attack, you don't want to just use your heavy pieces. You want to use the lighter pieces, too. Um, oh, wait. I missed this tactic for a few turns in a row. I'm actually a bit embarrassed that I missed that. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> um, there's a darker undertone to what the character was saying. You know, um... When you combine it with the fact that they're actually not playing that. Not playing like, you know, the world's top player. Um, wait, I don't know if we actually want to drop a pawn and promote it and use that to attack, or if I got something else to use to attack here. Uh, it'd be nice to use all the pieces. But it takes time to activate each piece. Now we got two pawns. We should use pawns. So we promote this pawn. Um, I can't click this to cancel the move, but you can click either. You could click a king to cancel trying to move this. So I could drop a rook here and take that. I don't know if that's overkill or the wrong idea or something, but sure. Well, prom actually, no. Promoting this seems less effective than taking this way. Because this way we're actually still continuing to attack the castle. Actually, capturing it directly doesn't seem like the best move. Um, I'm not sure that we need this knight. It'd be great to have, but... Unlike chess, just taking all the pieces is not the easiest way to win. Um, rather, you want to form an attack against the king. And it doesn't entail winning all the pieces. You just want to use whatever pieces you need. Um, sure, they, this piece survives. However, um, what matters is that we're making excellent progress toward the king here. Lost and broken. Is that a resignation? I don't know. We could take this... I'm not sure. Alright, so we attack. We'll also use our knight in this attack. Oh, they do cut off this bishop. It's actually a decent move here. Um, so we'll just continue using all of the pieces. And all the pieces coordinate. Uh, what's the best way to continue here? So there's a proverb. It'd be nice to see some traditional proverbs. I don't know where they'd fit. But um, that could be fascinating. So this general is just going to run away if we've not prevented it from escape. Um, but maybe there's not a... Hmm. It'd be nice to demonstrate some beautiful checkmate here. I don't see... A, yeah, you want to surround it and then checkmate it. Otherwise, the king's going to go running everywhere. I don't see um, a surrounding move. Maybe part of surrounding is we take this lance and then drop it out here, and it controls more stuff. Maybe that's a way about trying to surround it. Because using this knight to capture the square, um, well, it may or may not work. But, like, they could move the pieces around and then find some other escape. Um, I don't know, let's try this, actually. The game might be obliging us and making it easier somehow. Uh, so we got lots of pieces attacking. So, oh, that's checkmate? Wait, that is checkmate. Okay, the king has nowhere to run. 
She's displeased. Okay, enough is enough. You make me feel helpless. Akane, don't be like this. You became too powerful. I tried to smile, but the tension overwhelmed me. You know, she could flip the situation on the head here and mention, could you give me a handicap next time? But, um, I guess she's not in the mood for it. Hopefully she'll be okay. Like, that's not funny. Um, but we pretended to have a cold so we could stay home reading and learning shogi. And we had the house to ourselves. Yep, we borrowed... Oh, we get to actually read the books. Uh, it was a world of its own, demanding focus and patience. We felt a growing excitement, uh, uncovering secrets that would unlock our potential. We took breaks between chapters to stretch our legs and gaze out the window. The world outside was alive with the activity, but for me, this morning was dedicated to Shogi. And keep reading, learning, and growing. Sister came home from school. Weren't you sick? Have you been with these books all day? Shogi Adventures in the Magical Forest. <laughs> it's a serious book. Yeah, uh-huh. I hope they have happy endings for all the pieces. <laughs> She's got a sense of humor. All right. It's not a book for professionals, but, you know, whatever works. All right, so we can no longer go to that other event. Um, we can also no longer, like, pretend and stay at home. So I guess I'm not seeing other destinations here. Yeah, there's nothing under my chat window either, so I guess we're going to the library next. Walked into the library and looked for Junko. She was busy at her desk, as always. So, yep, yeah, it's puzzle time. Woo! Magnetic board. Hmm. I wonder if the library would actually install a new something if we play enough of these, instead of using a magnetic board all the time. Or maybe this is, like, one of the boards that it... Well, no, she mentioned this is a portable magnetic set. Um, it is a bit... Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, I guess the library wouldn't necessarily have a shogi board. It would be cool if they did. Um, so this is a checkmate puzzle. There's our king, their king, a gold general. I assume that's the horse, because that's the rook. Let's see. Do you get to replay games? In the bag, bar says 12. Um, yeah, I'm curious. I think there is a game log. I was looking in the game's main menu here. I think it keeps a record of your uh, handicap and other games. Okay, so this is a dragon. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the, the one that has like the other marking on the bottom is a promoted bishop. This one's a promoted rook. So we've got a rook. I'm sorry, this is a lance. No, this is... <laughs> this is uh, the rook. Uh, I'm so confused. Yeah, that is a rook. Um, so this is a checkmate puzzle. Every move is check. I see a checkmate in three, where if we do promoted rook takes gold... Uh, king takes rook. Oh, this rook doesn't promote as it retreats, because it's not all the way up here. So that's not mate. Oh, but... Oh, uh, no, that's not it. <sighs> we could check. They would block the check. We could take the gold. They would take the rook, and then we take the interposing piece. But that's not it either. Wait, is this mate in one? Who we'll moved the... Promoted rook here, the dragon, yeah. Somehow I thought this gold was protecting this, or this king had somewhere to run, but no, this is just... Oh, that's their piece. Oh. Right. I don't know what it is about my brain in these pawns, but I messed up. That's not good. Alright, we're never gonna surrender. Alright, let's try again. That's their pawn, not my pawn. Duh! Alright. Um, 
I was so confused about where the challenge lay with the problem, and now we see it. So, you know, we've excavated our dragon from the corner. Um, and then we can check here, supported by the other rook, and then that's checkmate. There we go. We did it. Congratulations. We left the library. It's already sunset. Mm -hmm. All right, whatever. We've taken another step closer. It is curious that we're single-mindedly pursuing just a singular romantic interest, but, you know, this it's an easy-to-understand narrative. That morning, I thought in despair why I was born so late. There's so much history to learn. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you were born in a previous era, there wouldn't be as much history. But everything's got to end. Kane approached us. Taro, I have to show you something. Uh, could be your collection of razor blades or dead puppies. Uh-huh. Okay. You have a dark sense of humor. Oh, humor? Uh, I mean, yeah. Look, there's a person who asked me to meet you, but you have to promise you'll keep quiet. It's a secret. All right. Sure. Could it be a girl who wants to confess to me? Ah! Could the game have anticipated my criticism of the game? I wonder. Uh, all right. I'm not telling nobody. All right. So we walked around for a while, taking various turns. Um, you know, this phrase in English can mean other things, but uh, we're just navigating a complex hallway with various turns in it. And um, going down to the maintenance area. Okay. Hmm. Kane, what are we doing? Shh. Okay, we got a metal door in the maintenance area. This this is cool. Uh-huh. It is I, Gazim, a humble thief. I hope people get the reference. It's a great reference for those who understand it. You may pass. Huh. Um, Okay, we entered the room. It's a girl dressed in a boy's uniform. Hmm, a freshman. This wasn't a suitable spot for young girls to spend time in, not for even for this purpose. Uh, okay. Hey, I apologize, but yeah. Um. Oh, I didn't mean to offend you. It's just, aren't you a bit young? And it's, this isn't a romantic thing. Dude, what you talking about? Akane didn't seem to understand what was going on. I was also confused. So, is this not a romantic thing? Oh. Oh. This is Taro. This is Taiteki. And he's a boy. Oh. Okay. Sure. Oh, come on. What art thou speaking of? Why should I hold interest in thee? Wait, is this a confession? Taro. <laughs> Creepy dude. No, this is Shogi. Taiteki is the president of the Underground Shogi Club. Oh, oh, the Underground Shogi Club. All right, whatever. Are there two clubs in the same school? Verily, I'll tell thee the tale of our enemies. Oh, you mean the actual shogi club? All right. Oh, looks like we get beat up for mentioning that. Rule one of unofficial shogi club. Don't talk about official shogi club. All right. But, you know, that's cool. So, why did you set up this club? Nah, it's, they refused to embrace our revolutionary notions about the noble game. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So you wanted to change the rules? No, not all of them, just the boring ones. Let's add some more rules. 
<sighs> I don't understand it, but I guess we'll try to understand it. Okay, what are you even talking about? Alright, so... Okay, can we get their help? Oh, never mind. So, I guess... Hmm. Yeah, let's go learn from the Underground Shogi Club. Uh huh. What could this be? We knock on the door. It is I, Gazim, a humble. Oh, never mind. It's I, Gulab. Alright, just enter. <laughs> Kazim, yeah. Anyway, we got Revolutionary Shogi. Is this anti-shogi or something? The manner in which it functions is like this. It can move one square in a horizontal or vertical manner. And given its particular manner, it explodes. And in its explosion, it destroys things into one square radius. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, neither the robot nor the pieces return to the game. That's puzzling. Did you hit your head as a child? Um, what if it removes your king? Oh, the king is immune to this. Okay. Sure. Alright. So, I guess we're gonna try this weird game. I'm not sure I get it, but... Hmm. I haven't seen this. That's a strange concept. What do we have these pieces in the corner for? That's not a lance in the corner. Let's just play a traditional game, I guess, and hope that things work out. Um, Alright, here goes nothing. We're moving into range of this piece, or not. Um, okay, we'll protect against an attack. Uh, this doubles the attack on this square, but that that's not enough for them to take it, so we're going to actually attack, and attack, and attack, and then pick up one of these. Alright, so now we've got some pieces. I'll move my chat window so I can... Access the top of the board. Um, so we got a bishop in hand and a knight in hand and four pawns. I don't know. I didn't count that I was taking all that, but I guess I got it. Um, you know, there's a beautiful space for a pawn here. It would be maybe better to place it down one and then advance, but I don't think that would have worked out. Um... So I don't understand this goofy robot thing, but um, I guess, let's see, I'd like to approach this, but it's not obvious how to do so. Mm. <laughs> well, I guess we just invade again like we did last time. Um, all right, and I mean, yeah, we'd like to use our bishop, so I guess we expose the bishop. I doubt that we're going to need it or find a way to use it easily, but <sighs> uh, how do we continue attacking? It's like if the knight advances, we just take it. All right, we're going to push on this column because I don't see an easier path or path of less resistance. So we attack the rook. It retreats. Um, hmm. I guess, yeah, we approach the king. Oh, we did leave this weakness right there, and it's been there for many turns, but now the opponent actually has the pawn to exploit it. Right. And we do well not to forget such things in the future. Um, 
Yeah, it'd be cool if I had some tactic to just pick this off, but it's not relevant. Uh, how do I checkmate here? This rook is somewhat annoying. It would be nice to remove it. Um, oh, I forgot this pawn could support an attack. Right. Alright, so they take our piece. And do I have checkmate on this next move here? Indeed. Alright, we did it. All about this strange robot concept. But sure. Um, all right, we're totally going to remember a um, special code to get in. Another history class? So we think of Taiteki. Well, he's a unique character. I guess Akane somehow likes him or something. Uh, he doesn't notice most things around him, but he's special. You like him, don't you? <laughs> Well, maybe. Um, he had a hard time when they rejected his ideas of the club, so I wanted him to feel better. Oh yeah, the password. Yeah. Alright. Maybe Akana is fine too. But let's go back and just learn some normal stuff. I guess it's time for another puzzle. Sure. Let's learn again. So what's next to learn? Um, okay, our piece stand is empty. There's a promoted rook. We've got a rook. I guess we could take here. But where's the checkmate? Oh, the king can't escape because we actually have a knight here for some reason. So, yeah, there's nowhere for the king to run in the event that we attack directly like this. So they can block. And that's a temporary measure. But we've actually got multiple checkmates here, no? We have a gold drop here. Or we could advance the silver here. Or we could drop the gold. Um, just probably what the game expects. But all these moves do checkmate. And so congrats, we solved one puzzle. Day 15. Oh, right, because I guess there's a number of days to each week or something like that. And so we return the books, and Junko um, looks up to us with a smile. Yep, so here's the ones you selected for me. Ah, so you're the one who took all the books. <laughs> ah, Sakura. Uh-huh. Don't look. I swear it's poor. No, I mean, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Yeah, just learning. Uh huh. Just the titles of the books. Okay, she did look. The Enchanted Shogi Castle. Uh, oh, that one. It's an advanced strategy guide. It adventures in the magical forest and the mischievous pond. Uh, uh, fantasy books, you know. It's imaginative literature. It's not all serious reading. Ah, so you're a fan of fantasy, huh? For little geniuses. <laughs> uh, I guess there's not dialogue choices. You know, that's an interesting point. Um, I guess, yeah, I haven't seen any dialogue prompts. Dialogue trees are difficult to code for sure. But I do like that the story is somewhat funny. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen dialogue choices, actually. There's just like, where do you want to go on the main map? Um, so I'm... Alright, here's another puzzle. I guess puzzles is probably the majority of what the game has to offer. If you play it for an extended duration. Um, so there's the king, there's our gold. We'd like a bishop to protect this gold, but... Well, no. Okay, the gold could take... No, well, no. This is a lance gold. I guess this is mate in one. 
They had that protected, did they? I knew that. Not really, but... Okay. Um... Interesting. Hmm. So, I guess the fastest mate I have here is this. Oh, I missed that, but... Um, sure. There's cleaner checkmates available, but we did it. Hmm. Yeah. I guess maybe there's not a dialogue tree. And so we encounter Sakura once more. Hey! Taro, wanna play? Alright, what's our excuse this time? I've got this condition. It's shogi-induced hand pain. Never heard of it. It's from all the intense training, you know. Wow, with the children's books? Alright, well, have a good one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. But yeah, I guess your decisions are just centered about where you go. Alright, what's our next puzzle, Jinko? A more difficult puzzle. Alright. So, Rook, Rook. We've got a lot of pieces for this being a difficult puzzle. But maybe it's best that way. Every move's gotta be check. Right now, there's only two checks available to us. One's if we were to sacrifice the gold. The other is if we were to trade the Rook for a silver. Um, uh, sacrificing the gold runs into all kinds of problems here, so I guess we have to make this exchange. But then where does that leave us? Um, oh, never mind. So this is actually somewhat straightforward. There we go. That was such a difficult puzzle. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I guess this follows a standard form where, like, instead of having 30 days and multiple exercises per day, you just have 60 days. Except it's not really 60. Oh, hey, Taro. I hope you're feeling better. Uh, I got something in my mind. Well, club members received invitation to a cosplay party. I'm excited, but I can't decide which classic player to show up as. Oh, did I know the name of any renowned shogi player? Hmm. You could play as a cosplay as a piece. A piece? Like a knight or a bishop? Uh-huh. That'd be unique, for sure. That's a fun idea. I never considered cosplaying as a shogi piece. It'd make me stand out. Thanks. I'll give it some serious thought. You know, I thought it was really surprising that she, um, she met us and she keeps calling us Taro instead of our last name. Our family name. It's rather forward of her, but that's fine. We got one last puzzle. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's time for the final puzzle. Um, hmm. So I'm seeing that the silver's not protected by anything. Uh, we have a... Wow, this is actually not... Huh. <sighs> What's going on here? It'd be nice to promote the knight and make that part of the combination somehow. Um, but it's not obvious how to do so. Like, we could move the rook, the king could escape this way, and then we could sacrifice the knight, the king escapes this way. 
And then this promoted pawn could pursue, but the king keeps running away. So that doesn't feel right. This is a trickier puzzle. Uh, if we use this, it's probably just there for support, but if we were to push it, the king would take here and escape out the corner, and that's no good. Oh! Oh, this is tricky. So we promote this back here, king takes. Promote the rook to a dragon, king returns here. Check, king over. This knight almost can move there. Not quite. Hmm. Well, what could this be? Like, so the most direct line is check, king retreats. Um, we promote the silver up here, check. King escapes. Oh, it can't escape because we have the knight here. That's why the knight's here. Alright, so yeah, we check. Then so now... Oh, if we promote up here, the king could move forward. Um, that could be awkward. What happens if the king advances? Oh, then the pawn. Wow. I guess that's why we have this promoted pawn instead of a normal pawn. Or, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this promotes up here, no doubt. I missed that. All right, maybe it was intentional. <laughs> I didn't foresee it, but maybe, no, that can't be it then. Oops. Where's the try again button? Hmm. Let's try again. All right. Yeah, so what can it be? So if we check, the king runs. <sighs> we check with the pawn, king can take. We promote, the king takes this. We're out of checks. I mean, it'd be beautiful if the silver promoted here. Let's move one. The king could run away. Oh, but we could pursue. Yeah. Wait. Check. Escape. Check. King escapes. That's not it. Check. Escape. Sacrifice it again. Um... The king just moves sideways once more. Then this promoted pawn advances. Yeah, okay, so that's enough. Let's take a look. I was afraid it was going to do this, because this seems, like, cooperative. Um, but maybe I've missed something here. So, uh, oh, the king's escaping again. That's no good. Oh, no, the king needed to run up like this. This is, well, maybe it didn't. Wow, that's embarrassing if there's multiple refutations here. I'm not sure about this puzzle, to be honest. I feel like I've missed the boat. But, um... Yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm gonna have to look closer at it sometime. Hmm.
What a complex puzzle for sure. So I guess we have the underground as our available destination. Uh-huh. Maybe this character was weird, but his appearance enthusiasm is appealing. Or maybe we've just forgotten. Who disturbs my slumber? <laughs> Come in. You'll never learn it, will you? Alright. So, behold the laser turret. Mm -hmm. Space Shogi. Alright. Whatever. Um, once stationed, they are fixed in place and cannot be moved. They unleash a laser beam, vertically and horizontally. It never hits the king, because the king has armor. Alright. So, what a fantasy world. But sure. Oh, so this is the laser. Wait. Do we actually want to try this piece? I am modestly curious. Um... Hmm. Let's figure out how this works. Oh, we can... Okay. Oh. Well, now we know how it works. <laughs> Alright. This is going well. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh huh. Nothing could go wrong. Oh damn. Mm hmm. Use the exploding robot. Yeah, I'm, I guess. Explosion. Oh, I see. So we could. If we Explosion. If we detonate it, it removes our bishop. Unfortunately, that's not what we need here. That's cute. Um, wow, how much effort went into this? <sighs> Alright, so we're in deep doo-doo. Um, <laughs> we are in really deep doo-doo. Okay, well, I'll attack this. Um, now the opponent has all these complex pieces as we do. Wait, can we not capture this? Oh, wait, that's not a silver. Oh, we got multiple exploding pieces. Oh, that's something. Explosion. All right. We use the exploding robot. Which I guess means we don't get the bishop. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm amused. But also a bit concerned. Uh-huh. We might not be winning this one. <laughs> uh, we are so cooked. Does the AI know how to place and use that turret thing? Because that would be concerning. Okay, we actually have some material to attack with now. Mm hmm. So. Uh. <laughs> I am so cooked. I guess we can attack the knight's head here. And then, sure. I guess we don't get a knight. But it's fine. Maybe. Uh... Oh boy. Oh wait, so now we have a really strong attack going all of a sudden. 
We don't want it to like set off the exploding robots, uh, apparently. But, um, oh wait, we can, hmm. Wait, oh, are these normal robots? Or oh, they could move or explode. I see. Now I know how they work. Mainly dead that so I could remove this guy. Oh, a rook fork? I mean, they're probably missing lots of things. Oh, we have another... We can attack with this. That's pretty cute. All right, I should have hit this forever ago. Not sure why I didn't. Um, hmm. I didn't realize they could move or explode. This is very much a hot mess. Um. Well, no, I could threaten to take the robot in the corner. It's going to defend that somehow. Um, here, let's do away with those. Okay, <laughs> sure. I guess we don't need to fire it right away. Um, oh, that's interesting. Now we can fire it. That's cute. This reminds me of a 90s game or 80s game called Laser Chess. It's got a similar mechanic, but this is more compelling, actually. Um... Hmm. The problem with blasting pieces is that we can no longer use them. And so that there's something unnatural about it. Oh, crud. I forgot the square in front of my king is wide open. Um, They don't have a lance in hand, so we'll just do this. And then remove this. Uh -huh. So, what now? What can it be? Um, oh, we still have this knight just floating about here. We'll use both of our knights to attack the king. Mm-hmm. But yeah, these robots, they're problematic. Or these exploding things. They make it harder for me to figure out what the heck to do. Because um, pretty much any advance I could make could be countered with one of those things. Uh -huh. How do I make progress without tripping off all these mines? I don't know. There's not a lot of pieces remaining either. Usually with you'd have some pawns and the pawns would help you find a way, but here we don't have any such thing. Um Well, okay. There is a path forward that does involve losing pieces, but for a greater purpose. Uh, but that's spooky. My king is, like, extremely exposed here. So I don't want to do anything dumb. 
Um, hmm. And I can't invade with the Rook for reasons. <sighs> it's so difficult to make progress in this fantasy game. I do like that I placed this in a useful position. Um, oh, if I could promote my knight here, progress could still continue to be made. All right. So that's the game plan. Um... Hmm. The other game plan is use pieces over here. And I thought I had a follow up to this. I thought <clears throat> I thought I had a continuation here. I seem not to. Yeah, this is kind of a hot mess. I guess we'll invade and pray that the invasion works. Okay, they offer us a free piece, so we remove it. Mm -hmm. um. Yes, yeah, so they're going to invade right in front of the king. And there's not a lot we can do to stop it. Hmm. All right, I don't like this, but we're doing it. Yes, their invasion continues, and they were so kind as to give us this to attack with. So now what can we do? They finally placed this attacking piece. Oh, I could just take it. And try to use one for myself. Um, oh, but can I drop this on the back row? Wait, no, that's a mine? Or is that a laser? That's a laser. So, I guess this row is the best one for it. Oh my. Alright, so now they pull out the heavy weapons. Um, interesting. I guess we'll dodge to this side, because dodging in front of the king would be pretty dangerous. Alright, so we remove their defender. Oh, <laughs> I forgot they have this other defender. Oh me, oh my, this game is complicated. Oh wait, we have this. There we go. Get this too. Mm -hmm. Now we've got this. And just systematically or systemically or whatever. Remove all those things. <clears throat> so they've got a laser gunning down our laser. That can only end well. Um... So that removes our mine. How do we checkmate? Mines are always troubling. Alright, now I don't even need to worry about that here. Uh, normally I do, but in this case, it's not going anywhere. So how do we checkmate in this situation? Um, 
Oh, duh, I forgot about that. Oops. Uh, here, let's not lose everything. Um, yeah, because that's a laser. All right, let's get them to remove um, their exploding piece. All right, and so now hopefully we can figure this out. Um, there's not much remaining. All right, I fire it. I take the damn thing. It gives me one of these. Um. <laughs> I'd protect it with my own... Well, you know, that might not be the worst move here. No, it's actually pretty bad, because they just run away and then it's hitting this. Um. Okay. So... Oh, do I have a simple checkmate? I do. Let's just do that. Check. Checkmate. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we won this special version. Gotta remember the password. Which we're totally gonna remember next time. Alright, and so we come across Akane and Taiteki. So we had Space Shogi. Sure, what's the idea? There's no ninjas in space. What? Yeah, we've, we've completely fallen in the dating sim category. That's what this is about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know it might. It very well could. So, let's see. What do we got here? I wonder if Taiteki's ever going to enjoy a uh, traditional game of Shogi. Maybe that's what the game is about here. So, if this were a desk... Okay. Yeah, if you're playing a physical game, how are you going to... Oh, you could have concealed pieces, but it's kind of a burden on the flow of the game. Uh, we tripped him up. Yeah, you missed the laser Shogi thing. Alright. We're going to see what this custom game is about. Oh, gotcha poem. All right. We tried. All right, we got new pieces. All right, what's new? The alien. Robots, turrets, and aliens. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. How's the alien move? It can move two squares. All right, so sure. Let's see what this is about. So on the back row, more and more of our pieces keep getting replaced with these other pieces. So there's the robot mine. There's in hand, we've got a turret. And now there's this other piece referred to as an alien. Uh, which can move two spaces. Okay. Um, here, let's, let's give the bishop somewhere to go. Um, now, I'm modestly curious. They keep mentioning that the king is immune to this laser thing. So let's test that out, shall we? Alright. So, this is gonna make... Oh, can move... Wow, it's like a lion? Dang. Alright. I guess we might as well protect the lion with the lion then. Um, or something like... Protect our thing with a thing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, if they take either one of these, we take back. But otherwise, I don't really have a need to fire those. 
we could just play normal shogi and just kind of let that sit there for the longest time. But these lions running about the board do look spooky. Oh, we've got one too, don't we? I guess we'll use ours to defend against theirs or something like that. Uh-huh. So now I could obliterate some pieces. So let's do that. They're going to take our damn thing. And that way we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and hopefully that's fine. Ah, but they remembered. Wait, I could take that, but they'd take me back. Um, well, we'll see how this goes. Cool. So now we've got a laser again. As well as one of these lion things. Or they call it some other piece, but it's a very fast moving. Oh, wait, we've got a double mover we can drop? Well, oh, that's crazy. A double moving piece can easily checkmate, can't it? Yeah. All right, that's mate. Woo, we did it. All right, so maybe he can be interested in traditional shogi. All right, we mastered Space Shogi, even though we don't know the password to the basement. But maybe that's for the best. Mm -hmm. There are a couple kids running about in the park. Ten-year-old boy and girl. Is that a Shogi book you're carrying? Uh, yeah, it is. Can you help us play? We know how to play, but we, there's some things we don't understand. Um, sure. Let's try. Uh, Kazuko and Jiro. Alright, and my name is Taro. Alright, so what are these questions? Oh, really? Space Shogi questions? Mm-hmm. He's got special armor. Oh, so the laser can't... Oh, man. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah. Space Shogi? <laughs> Where'd you learn about this? It's on a website. Uh-huh. Okay. It's gonna be super popular. There it is. Space Shogi. I see. Would you like to play? Sure. Maybe later. Okay. Well, I guess we have a lot of options as to what to do. Um, it's either that or pass on the day. So... Maybe that's the hidden purpose of this game, is to promote the Space Shogi. What do I know? Alright, I got the robot, turret, and alien. Are there any other rules? Cargo ship? The alien player has to checkmate. And the marine comes, fights with promoted works robots and lasers, and there's, there's all this DLC, you know. But... Sure. Okay. Who are we going to play against? Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So I have no idea what's going on. Can we not see the contents of the spaceship? Is that the idea? Um. So... They have these double movers. We've got a laser. I guess our own double mover can't jump the wall. Oh, sorry, that's the uh, exploding robot. Never mind. Um, but since our king's immune to the laser, it seems kind of fun to just drop this here and see what happens. Is that... Okay, that's the game. Uh... Sure. Okay. Space Shogi. You know, it reminds me of some other games that... Anyway. Um... Taiteki looks anxious. Have you seen Akane? She's missing the whole day. Alright. 
It wasn't anything too serious. She just caught a common cold. She'll be back in no time. Oh, but I need her. Hmm. Interesting. Well, Aunt I collect today's assignments, and you can bring them to her. I'll show her you how much she cares. Show her how much you care. All right. So, yeah, she'll be happy if you're the one who brings them. Really? Oh, yeah. Here's your assignments. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cute. All right, back to the park we go for another game of Space Shogi. Got to beat Kazuko since we beat Jiro already. All right, Kazuko, also 10. This is going to kick our butt. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So now the situation's flipped. And they played my own move against me. Oh, that's cute. How thoughtful. Wait, how are we going to make progress if we can't escape the damn thing? The walls are immovable. Or immobile. Um, we have no pieces in hand. I keep moving my chat window around, but like, we have no pieces, and so we can't approach the damn laser in the middle either. So, you know, that's a really cunning strategy. Uh, okay, we approach. Approach again. But I don't think there's anything I can do here, actually. Because if I step forward, they're just going to fire the laser and my options. I mean, it'll remove their dragon. Uh, I guess. But no, they have other dragons. Huh. The alien can move across walls, but, like, there's this laser here. So moving across the wall is a huge blunder. Wait, no, I could take this. Okay, never mind. Okay, so, yeah. Well, that's complicated. Alright, we did it. That was really complicated. He played well. <laughs> She's not good at losing. Oh, now there's a Space Shogi tournament. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that was cool. <sighs> it's time to visit the Shogi Club. Maybe we could impress Sakura. Okay, we're going to change our mind at the last minute, though, right? Wait! Okay. So there was an undeniable aura of tranquility. I've been observing your journey closely, Taro. But I must warn you, your skills are lacking. Excuse me? Who are you? My name is Kimura Yaichi. I know you're heading toward the realm of Shogi, seeking to conquer the heart of Sakura. And I want to help you. Okay... Fear not, I'm not a stalker. I just want to help. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Look, I was in a situation. You like a girl, and she won't even look at you unless you know your way around Shogi. Oh, speaking of, like, what's your romantic interest? But okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Unwavering commitment. You'll harmonize the pieces until you claim her heart. But no, like, where's your significant other? Ah, yes. I vowed to myself that I'd return the favor to the next seeker of Shogi, etc. Well, at least he's got a coherent story. Think of it as a sacred lineage. Each guru assists their disciples in unlocking the profound mysteries of the Shogi. And in turn, they impart their wisdom to the subsequent generation. Uh, it's knowledge, enlightenment, dharma, you know. Fancy words. 
Let's meet in the north alley. Alrighty then. <laughs> it's more dangerous to be seen together than to be go there. Mm hmm. Alright. Sure. Shh. <laughs> we shall not speak his name. Alright. So we lost our confidence. I was surprised we were kind of so confident earlier, but sure. The North Alley was a place of ill fame, where local delinquents often gathered. I didn't feel like going there, but, you know, what are our options? It's either that or not learn shogi. So, you know, what are we going to do? We're going to learn shogi. <sighs> Alright, remain calm and focused. You know, that's kind of a skill in the game. I'll spend the afternoon in this alley, sitting on the pile of rubble in the lotus position, and stay there until dusk. Okay. And how's this going to cultivate the depths of the mind? You'll maintain your inner silence no matter what happens. Confront your fears and emerge with the strength to face any challenge. All right. Sure. Uh-huh. This totally isn't a prank. Definitely not a prank. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Young man in the alley. We found enlightenment, and the delinquents left. Sure. All right. Am I a saint or a fool? Sure. Why not? Now it's time for real shogi. Next day I'll impart you the teaching of advanced shogi techniques. Wow, so we learned enlightenment in one day. What's where are we gonna learn the next day? Uh Kane and Tatiki. How are they doing? Oh, they had a wondrous time. <laughs> so are you both now? Oh, that's so exciting. Wow. That's quite exciting and sudden. But no, confessions in such a culture um, are really a dramatic thing. So, I get it. Alright, what are we learning today? Castles. Wow, we gotta learn how to protect our king with the golds and the silvers and the formations. Mm-hmm. What if I get attacked? Well, you gotta be careful, dude. But, you know, castles work. So we're gonna learn the Mino castle. You basically move the rook to the left, then move your king diagonally up and to the right, and then uh, twice to the right, three steps, one hop this time. I couldn't resist, but, you know. Um... Move the silver general, and then the gold general. I hope you can show us. Oh, we'll arrange it such that you've already built the castle. So yeah, you saw me the other game a while ago. Put my king over here, silver up, gold up. So they've already arranged the pieces for us. Now, he mentioned a handicap. If I'm looking... No, I don't see a handicap other than the... Castle's been arranged for us, which is a pretty good handicap. It's a, it's a good thing to have this already built. Uh, do I want to block the diagonal so soon? No. We just want to attack. All right. Yaichi's being rather polite. Letting us just completely steal the show here. And so this shows, this showcases the strength of a castle. That, hey, look, my king is defended and yours is not. But they have a pawn. Oh no, what will we do? Checkmate. Alright, so that was cool. Hmm, nope, we still have more to learn. Alright, so 
come back some other day and learn something more than just Mino Castle. Wonder what we learn next. There's Sakura who's just leaving the library. Hmm. Not everything revolves around Shogi, you know. These are about parenting. I mean, technology. Alright, so... Big robots with guns. Mm-hmm. She's always been excited about it. See those in the over-the-top anime series. Would you ever want to pilot one? Sure, why not? But... Saving the world from crazy threats. It's a childhood dream brought to life. Uh, at least until you're living it. But anyway. The dramatic music, though, is pretty exciting. You know, escape from reality can be exciting. Yep, yep, yep. Just keep the alien threats in check. Mm-hmm. Sure. Books aren't gonna read themselves. If you see a short-haired boy, who looks like he's about to cry. Wow. Wow. Really, Sakura? Okay. Sure. I guess there's a reference that I'm not aware of. Alright, I guess we're going back to the North Alley. So, I couldn't help but feel a sense of urgency and determination. It's crystal clear to win Sakura's heart. I have a solid understanding of the fundamentals of castle construction. All right. So it's all about love and focus and energy and positivity that we didn't exhibit on day one or day two or day three or day four or whatever. But yeah, we're going to learn some more castles. Anaguma, Sakura's favorite. Bear in the hole. And it was developed in response to tactics that were able to break Mino. Yep, we moved the lance, put the king in the corner, used the silver and gold generals to protect. So I'm just going to give you all these pieces in the corner. So we've already built the castle. And the idea is we get to attack while their king is de not defended and ours is. Um... And the game might go out of its way to explain just how large of an advantage it is to have your king completely safe while your opponents, everything, are all simultaneously hanging. Uh, I would like to hit this again. Uh, sure, I guess we'll hit it. Oh! Well, that's cute. Um, do I have checkmate? I think I do. Yes. Don't stop. Mm-hmm. So we... Okay, before we do that, Silver King Rook. I mean, that's really straightforward. Yeah, okay, there's no other way. Woo, we did it. Congrats, we did it. Are we ready to fight Sakura? Sure. Yeah, we're gonna dazzle Sakura with our prowess. <laughs> yeah, hey Sakura, could you let me set up Anaguma as a handicap and then... Oh, never mind. Um, sure. Alright. But, anyway. Day 29. The lecture was a distant hum. It felt as if I were an observer, peering through a haze that separated me from the world, preventing me from fully immersing in the present. It's time to challenge Sakura. Or is it? It's the moment I've been waiting for. Everybody all there. Excuse me? I'm Yui. How may I help you? I was looking for Sakura. Taro! Oh, so you're the guy she talked about. Yes, yeah, very suspicious guy who claims to be a shogi grandmaster, but has never come to the club. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the AI building is kind of impressive. I wasn't expecting like a triple A game, but you know, it's it's cool for what it is. Um. 
All right, so why have we not gone to the club? Who knows? But we're, you know, let's play a game against Yui. I catch you lying. I'm going to expose you. All right. Oh, I guess we're going to go to Shogi Club. Rule number one of Shogi Club, don't talk about Shogi Club. All right, just kidding. I'm here to play Shogi. Uh-huh. I expected you to back out. All right. <sighs> so, wow. Actual traditional game. I'm impressed. All right. Fine. Oh gosh. Looks like we've actually got a real game on our hands then. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's stockfish. Do you? But yeah, you'd hope that we'd have like an actual fight going on here. Uh, let's see. Do I drop it all the way back? I guess so. It's kind of painful. Mm hmm. Okay, this sacrifice happens a second time. I don't want to break my castle, do I? I guess I want to take with this one. Um. Hmm. But yeah, hopefully this is stockfish on some difficulty setting or something like that. Um. Because I can't imagine, like, producing your own engine for the sake of making a, a dating sim. That would be uh, quite the accomplishment. Um, so, how do we attack? They push on toward our king. Um, hmm. That's a bit spooky. Hmm. I could float the rook up at this point. So slow. There's a faster way, but there must be. Breaking the left edge could be useful too. Well, if they brought their bishop forward, so can I. Yeah, but building one that, like, doesn't. Well, I'm curious. Building one that is a good sparring partner. Seems like something of a challenge. Building one that can play well is one thing, but building one that doesn't play like completely ridiculous moves that embarrass you is something different. Um, so, how do we progress? Well, I guess, I guess this is one way to make progress here. There we go. And then we promote up here. We're so getting exposed. <laughs> uh, dear, we're going to lose to stockfish. So it seems. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. That's a fork. All right, so fork for a fork. <laughs> they don't have a knight in hand, right? So I can actually do this. Yeah, we are getting our butts handed to us. Uh, it's not... Hmm. How do I continue attacking? So my knight's under attack. Um... They have two... No, they have a dragon in the corner. And this bishop here. Um, wow, that's embarrassing, but we're going to have to drop this way out here. This way we get something. Um... Okay, we've hit the rook again. Oh, they're not going to defend their king. Well, that's rather polite. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought this is a... I confused myself as to which piece is which. As I do. Fine. But we'll continue attacking anyway. Um, hmm. wait, <laughs> I stumbled into something here. We surround the opposing king. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't have a checkmate. Dang. That looked cool for a second. And only one second. Wait, now we can promote here. Now if we drop the pawn, knight takes the pawn, so it's not an illegal mate. Um, I guess that's what we're doing. And then, even though the bishop protects this point... Oh my god. This is... So we take the gold and then prepare to drop the gold here, but in taking the gold we're also attacking the rook. Is there something better? I don't think so. And then I hope this is checkmate or I've made some terrible blunder. We did it. Okay. Do you mind, then, if I play against Sakura? You have my approval. I'm sorry I was like this with you, but Sakura is an innocent girl, and I don't want anyone to take advantage of her. Yeah, so I've watched her grow up. You know what? I'll give you her number. Really? Would you do that? She didn't give us the number, but you'll give us... Okay, sure. All right, we got Sakura's phone number in a completely ordinary and normal fashion. As I listened to the professor's lengthy discourse on university life, memories of the past 30 days flooded my mind. So, despite the bittersweet realization that our time together might end in another 30 days, I found solace in the remarkable progress I'd made in my shogi skills. Could this newfound growth be enough to turn my aspirations into reality? Well, who knows? Uh, our fight level is 133. So we've mastered all the exercises. There's nowhere to go on the map other than to click pass here. So we click pass. I daydreamed so much I lost track of time. <laughs> Why hadn't I written her yet? Mm-hmm. Why does she offer this the number? Alright, so do we go to the Shogi Club? Speak of the devil, here he is. 
time for me to leave. Alright, hi Taro, bye Sakura. Alright. Taro, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? Look, my parents are away for a few days, so could you like to come to my place and learn play Shogi? Um, sure, of course. See you then. Alright. So, I guess we're not playing at the Shogi. Oh, I see. We can go to Sakura's home now. Glanced around, soaking in the surroundings. Hard to believe that is in her room. But it's a dream come true. I didn't want to push my luck. Let's play a game. Let's get ready to play. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe this might be a good time to end uh, the coverage here. We'll see how it goes, and maybe cut the video here. We'll see. Um, uh-huh. I hope it's a book. <laughs> I hope also this is like level 99, some engine. Completely unwinnable sort of thing. <laughs> that would be the ultimate troll. That would be so funny. Alright, so... Wait, 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 we don't push this just yet. Defend. Okay. I'm gonna move my chat window so I can access my pieces. <laughs> and then we'll drop this over here and take one of those. I guess this isn't level 99 of whatever potential engine it could have been. Um, so... Uh, yeah, let's just build a castle. Hmm. Not sure if I wanted to prevent that from happening. Oh, right. I could use this to attack things, too. But a horse is a useful defensive piece, primarily. So we'll defend. Um... And then make way for my rook to enter the game. Hmm. So. Hmm. <laughs> so then my rook can invade on this side. Oh, they cut off my rook. Well, that's one way to cut it off, but now they have no pawn in hand. Um, so I could break the edge? I don't know. What an awkward situation. I could also use the horse to attack, because they can't defend this piece. So yeah, they cut the attack this way. Um, okay. So now I could take a lot of things could get exchanged here. But it behooves me just to drop back and play normally. Actually, since they have no pawn in hand, uh, this is particularly strong. So this, even though it hits my rook, they weaken the castle. Um, I mean, I guess I was planning to drop a pawn and, like, force this to move, but they've proactively moved it. Um, hmm. 
I guess we're going to drop all the way back. And then I could take this and that, but then they get the silver. So there's got to be a better way. Um, well, I don't know. A knight and a silver for a silver is pretty decent. Actually, the taking the knight allows me to threaten a fork. So we get to drop this and take the rook. Um, so we've got a commanding lead. How to continue? How do we continue this? If I drop the rook way down here, gold takes, rook takes. Uh, rook drop in defense. That doesn't mate. Uh, would be cool if it did. But it's hard to imagine a more effective attack here. Oh, they're still attacking my lance in the corner, too, if I'm careless. Like, I don't want to spend time just defending a lance. Well, I don't know, it's not the worst use of time. Is there any other way to attack here? Hmm. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually going to... No, cutting off the Rick's attack would be a mistake. Um... Yes, I have actually defended my king. We're going to do the crazy thing and pray it works out. So I'd intended to move here, which actually just hangs the dragon. So I need a different plan now. I guess I could exchange here, but that's pretty sad. Unless there's some awesome tactic to follow. Now the idea is here, I wanted to have their rook placed in this really passive situation. And that way I could pick it off for just any piece. Um, I drop a pawn here, but they just take it. Okay, we can surround their horse. Ah, they place a lance here? That's legal. Um, hmm. All right, so we'll attack the king and continue attacking the king. And so uh, the opponent does not defend for some reason. All right, so we just take, and it's that's the game. All right, we are victorious. We're good at this. All right. You know, I was thinking. It's curious how love can make us do things we never thought possible. Like, you have your life figured out, and suddenly you're packing your bags and moving to a different city or a different country. Mm hmm. I guess so. Love can be a powerful thing. Okay, it's time for your reward. Close your eyes. We get a kiss. And she was looking away. How about we play again some other day? Sure. And so begins the relationship. By Pablo Baron with invaluable assistance of Lunaris Filia. All right. I'm glad that ended in some appropriate way. I was a bit concerned, to be honest, but um, yeah, the game seems to have been handled pretty responsibly. Um, 
you know, depression at the beginning is not the lightest subject, but, you know, it's kind of a trope. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if um, the person giving assistance were an engine developer. That would make a lot of sense. So, yes, this is Checkmate. My Shogi Club president can't be this cute. Uh, if you want to experience it without somebody blitzing through and over-talking the dialogue, it's available on itch.io uh, for a donation. So, it's a really cute game. Um, yeah, the bit about Space Shogi was really confusing to me, but I guess a lot of people might enjoy it. Uh, it is, yeah, at the end of the game, apparently Sakura forgot about the space and robots and other excitement, but, you know... Whatever keeps the narrative moving and intriguing, I guess it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, I appreciate, like, the AI opponent is actually brilliant. Uh, not just in that it works, but it's somewhat compelling as, like, something that tries to imitate human behavior. And this notion of, um, I don't know. It's not the same as playing against a real opponent. Of course, you want to prefer playing human opponents, but for something that introduces a really nervous person to the game, I could see it. Um, yeah, this all, everything worked out a lot better than I thought, so. I know Transport had suggested let's upload it to YouTube. That could well happen. I'm trying to think of what else to remark about the game. Um, yeah, I'm impressed the dialogue it went deeper than I would expect for a game like this. Of course, things could go deeper still, but, um, you know, it's a really cool game. Um, yeah, earlier there was a question about dialogue trees. Uh, it's not something this or many other games in this genre offer. This does remind me of a similar game like Long Live the Queen, which also has a narrative arc and stats and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, what a way to introduce players to the game. And I don't know, it's really cool. I hope we enjoyed this. And thanks for watching.